Shalom. First and, first and foremost, above all things, I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory. That's definitely due to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Rakakadash. I'm from the prophets in Babylon out of the Waco, Texas camp, affiliated with the branch of prophets in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. I'm your brother, Atiyah. I'd like to give a special double honors to the elders and apostles on down at Great Millstone, those fine, sincere brothers who taught us this true doctrine of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. Lesson for today Time is running short. Famine of the word. Yeah. Um, you know, with all that's going on, you know, we got war on the horizon. And, you know, um, the, the, the prices increasingly going up on food and on everything, you know, not just food, but all these things, um, we see that the, 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 the end is drawing near. So now's the time to seek Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah now, you know, because they're going to come a time when all things, you know, this, this information that's being brought out is not going to, it's not going to continue. It, you know, this, this, this word that of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah is not going to continue on and on. You know, it's going to be a time when, you know, um, these Edomites, rulers of the world, Will, will cut off the social media and you won't be able to get it to take in this knowledge. So now's the time to, to get this knowledge while you can, you know, and, and us brothers, beginning with myself, you know, um, I remember something that a teacher used to tell, tell us all the time, you know, I want to see you go all out. And right now, this is the time for us brothers to go all out, you know, for Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, you know. And so, let, so um, without further delay, I'm going to go into some scriptures. And Lord willing, I hope and pray that this will be an edifying lesson. First one I want to go into was James chapter 1 verse 12. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Yeah, so our goal is to, to you know, go out as was commanded by Yahweh Shah, our Lord, to to um, you know feed the lost sheep of Israel you know and uh, give a warning 
you know, of the great destruction that's about to come and, and you know, to, uh, you know, you know, round up the elect, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh, about Shem, Yahweh, Shah, first and foremost. And so, you know, with us going out there, you know, we know sooner or later that we're going to be heavily persecuted, you know, but we're not to fear these things that, that Esau, you know, Esau is going to do. And here's the proof right here. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Yeah. So that crown of life is what we're what we're after, you know. We're we're hoping and praying for salvation from the deadly destruction that's about to come. And you know, we we go out and we warn the people, and you know, our first objective is to is to uh is to the elect because the scriptures tell you where Paul says that all things I do is for the elect's sake. So, you know, that's our mindset. We, we want to, uh, you know, have the mindset of, of, of uh, doing this work, feeding the sheep, uh, the elect of the nation of Israel, you know, because only the elect of Israel is going to receive this, this righteous, true doctrine of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. You know, the scriptures tell you, let's get it anyway. Uh, Romans chapter 11. Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then Israel have not obtained, that would be the two-thirds, that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Yeah, the elect are the ones who were chosen before the earth was even created. So those who are the elect, they will receive this knowledge, they'll accept this knowledge, they'll come in, and they will go out and do the preaching work you know warning our people you know to uh, you know of the of the great destruction of the mass great destruction that's about to come upon America man So, I mean, with all that's going on, we want to continue to be as diligent as we can, you know, and, and not worry about all the things of this world. See, that's the thing these these, these um, two-third Jakes are. They're all worried about what's going on in their own personal life, you know, and, and the things that we talk about, they feel like, well, if it's not affecting me, why worry about it? You know, I need to worry about paying on this car note or I need to be worried about these bills or whatever it is that they got going on, you know, a woman, what have you, you know what I'm saying? But our mindset should be focused on this truth and knowledge and first and foremost on Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai delivering us from this, you know, from this wicked place because we want salvation. Revelation chapter 3 verse 11 Behold I come quickly This is what Yahweh Shah says Hold that fast which thou hast That no man take thy crown Yeah so 
we want to have a mindset that to not let no one take our crown man you know and if it means that that if it means death then that is what it is man you know the truth the uh, scriptures say strive for the truth until death you know so that's the mindset that we have to have you know beginning with myself is first and foremost you know that we we continue to make a, 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 a you know to to do a due diligence you know So yeah, we wanna, you know, continue to be as diligent as we can because time is running out. And you know, at the end of the day, uh, we wanna to, you know, we wanna think after this work is done that we did all that we can do, you know? And I know we all, you know, at the end of the day, it's always, as what's that scriptures tell you, uh, you know, that you can never do enough for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, you know. But if the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah sees that the effort, you know, you made that effort, then he's going to bless you with that crown of glory, you know, that crown, you know. So that's what we're seeking. So, I, you know, it's an, this is an exaltation to the brothers, you know, to be as diligent in this truth and knowledge as, you know, as much as you can because time is running short when this you know the famine of the word is going to hit you know so it's something that we should all keep in mind so lord willing i hope and pray that this was an edifying lesson to you brothers and your sisters out here and once again i like to give praise and honor and glory to yahweh bahashim yahweh shah bahashim rakakradash because all praises and honor and glory are definitely due to the heavenly father for giving us this holy spirit to uh learn these scriptures and continue to grow i like to give a special double honors to the elders and apostles on down at great millstone who have taught us this truth through the spirit of yahweh bashem yahweh shah first and foremost and peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of israel until the next time lord willing i say shalom